Okay, here we are, back at my Mercruiser 470, 3.7 LX, whacking a few more bits on. Okay, you're gonna stick the inlet manifold in. Now this inlet manifold, the, the carburetor sits on top of it and on those long bolts poking out the top, it's a Rochester four barrel quadrajet. And this inlet manifold is water cooled. It also has an oil cooler built into the bottom of it. So I'll put a new gasket on and I'm just spinning in the 916 AF bolts which hold the manifold against the head. So just get them started and then wind them in with a spanner until, until it's up nice against the head. Like I say, this, this manifold is water cooled. There is an oil cooler that fits in the bottom of it. Um, I should be putting the oil filter housing together and back on in a minute and you'll see the pipes where they go underneath. There's one bolt underneath, it's a bit of an awkward little one to get to but it's there. So just spin them all in. And then I've got a ratchet to whiz them up because I got bored with using a spanner. So whiz them all up and then there's two there's a few bolts you can't get a ratchet or a socket onto because they're sort of in the back of the casting of the aluminium in the middle of the manifold so you've got to whack those up with a spanner and then then the, the, all the manifolds are on Like I say, this manifold's water-cooled. I'm not sure if that acts as an intercooler or it's just somewhere where they decided to put the oil cooler out the way because the oil cooler is built into the bottom of this manifold. Okay, just sort of getting into that bottom bolt under there. That's quite quite an awkward one to get into. A bit fiddly, that was. I'm just putting the uh, mechanical lift pump back on now. Um, I'm putting the mechanical lift pump back on at the moment because I should use it to get initially get the engine running But when I install the engine, I've had a few people leave me comments about upgrading this to an electric fuel pump And I think that could be quite a good idea. It's 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 probably be a lot more reliable and uh, There's also a little issue With this and the oil cooler pipes that I'll show you in a minute as we get a bit further in, you'll see what I mean. But that's that's the fuel pump back on and nipped up. This is the oil filter housing. It's got like a, a rubber seal there that goes against where it bolts onto in the block. There's a little O-ring that goes in this end, which one of the pipe fittings goes into for the oil cooler. Put a bit of grease in it just to help that O-ring there sort of slide so that the thing slides onto the seat of the o-ring it doesn't pinch it or crimp the o-ring it, it the grease just helps it slide up as it seals so just put that center bolt in and give that a, a nip up and these two there's two like fittings on the top of this housing and there's two whole ports in the bottom of the there's the two fittings in the top of the oil filter housing and there are the two fittings in the bottom of the inlet manifold now the pipe fittings that go into the bottom of the inlet manifold are fixed on the pipe so i'm sealing those with some loctite 577 so i wind those in with obviously with that loctite thread sealer on it and just give them a nip up and then the other end is a pipe fitting where the nut spins on the end of the pipe and that fitting is the one that goes into the oil filter housing so you can see there the nut spins on the end of the pipe that and then there's like a seat inside the pipe which seals inside that fitting so just give that a nip up. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with the other pipe. 
But this is this this issue with having a mechanical lift pump on there. The top of that lift pump is just touching that oil cooler pipe, which I don't like that very much. Obviously, it's a part where that it could rub through. So by disregarding the mechanical fuel pump, mount an electrical fuel pump somewhere else and a blanking plate where that fuel pump would go would stop that from rubbing that pipe. But anyway, there's that, that's nipped up. Get this pipe in here, get that all nipped up. And that's like inlet manifold, oil cooler, oil filled housing and fuel pump put on. And I've got a bit of good news. Once I've got this pipe on, I'll show you. I've got all the bits clean and ready. There's the kit to rebuild my carburetor. And I've also got, there's all the other bits and bobs in there, all nice and clean. And I've also got my my carburetor back. There's uh, There it all is. I've had, that's been in a sonic bath to be cleaned and rubbed and loved and it's all there it's all that's all ready to go back on so that'll be my next okay I've attempt just got, um, a couple of thank yous i'd like to thank nugget for cleaning out that carburetor for me he was good enough he's put it in his sonic bath and gave it a bit of clean up got some more of the crap and the debris off it nugget you're golden mate thank you very much really appreciate you doing that i, I could have never got it clean enough just with like carb cleaner and a wire brush I, I knew I wasn't going to get it clean enough so you putting it in that sonic bath that's been brilliant Th thanks again mate really appreciate that I'd also like to thank everybody that subscribed it's that's really good it's it's, it's encouraging to know that people are interested in what I'm doing and they they're, they're following me it's it's it's, it's nice it's, it's it's like we're going into it together I'd also like to thank, um, that just thank you for watching. It's, that's, that's really good. I mean, I'm, it's so encouraging that people are, are interested in what I'm doing and they can see what's going on. Um, the next stage is going to be putting that carburetor back together. Um, it's something I've never done it before. Um, Jeff has given me a, a, a manual for that engine. And when you get to the carburetor part of it, it's fantastic. It's a blow by blow screw by screw instructions of how to put it together so i should be able to do that I'm, I'm not so panicked about that now because i can i can see from the instructions what to do and how to do it so it's really good so like i say thank you very much for watching uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you want more catch you soon see you on the next one bye